In this session, you'll learn how to bring your boat to a predetermined point by using a stopping procedure, giving consideration to wind, current, and boat traffic, and coming to a full safe stop within 12 inches of your point of contact on the mooring. You'll also learn how to arrive at an appropriate shoreline without damaging your propulsion unit. What problems are we trying to avoid? Overrunning the mooring. Approaching a shore not suitable for landing considering the type of boat and wind, waves, and traffic. Requiring action by someone other than you as the boat operator to avoid a collision. Allowing your boat's propulsion unit to make contact with the bottom or objects. So how do we do it right? First, confirm that your passengers or crew have been briefed on your arrival plan and understand their individual responsibilities and are ready to proceed. Approach the mooring at an appropriate angle considering the wind and current and at minimum control speed using intermittent throttle. If possible, come alongside the mooring on the helmsman's side to keep it in sight during the approach and with your bow pointed into the wind or current, whichever is stronger, for maximum control. Have your line handler ready at the bow, wearing a life jacket in a safe position with a boat hook and able to use hand signals to direct the helmsman as needed. When you are approximately one boat length away, shift smoothly into neutral to glide forward and stop within 12 inches of the mooring. In a strong wind or current, use extra power to maintain the boat's position. Shift gently into reverse if needed to stop the boat. Use the boat hook to pick up the mooring pennant or line and secure it to a bow cleat. When approaching a shoreline, analyze wind, waves, tide, and depth, as well as your boat's characteristics and beach conditions for landing suitability. Approach at an appropriate angle. Execute the landing plan using minimum control speed with smooth throttle transitions, shifting into neutral two boat lengths from the water's edge to facilitate gliding to the beach. Raise the boat's propulsion unit to clear the bottom, turn off the engine, and enable your passengers and crew to disembark safely. Deploy a beach anchor to secure the boat's position. Monitor weather and tide forecasts to determine whether it's safe to remain ashore. With practice, you'll be able to bring your boat to a predetermined point by using a stopping procedure, giving consideration to wind, current, and boat traffic, and coming to a full safe stop within 12 inches of your point of contact with a mooring. And you'll be able to arrive at an appropriate shoreline without damaging your propulsion unit and ensure the safe disembarking of your passengers and crew and yourself.